Alexis is not a morning person. Old railway station. She may want to look in our fridge. My cello right there. Morning trip to the toilet. Alexis is not a morning person. There's the van over there. Going in. So it is meant to be $3 for a shower at Underball. We haven't used the showers, we've only used the toilets, so I'm giving them $2 in all our change. One coin at a time. station. I assume the rail line still works but I don't think it's passenger anymore. I think it's just um, cargo trains I guess. It's pretty cool. So coming up on the South Australia border, the very strict, strict quarantine with fruit flies. See that? What can you see? You may be trafficking fruit flies, stop. <laughs> we had some apples yesterday. I thought we were gonna cross the border yesterday actually, but I was confused. And um, we made sure we ate our apples so that we didn't have to give them up. But uh, biosecurity in Australia is pretty full on because of all the unique flora and fauna and stuff. You get anything around that doesn't have um, natural predators and it can be quite uh, devastating for the native animals and plants. We're gonna walk past and hop back in. Things. Well, spices and stuff, but I'll have a welcome to the toilet. Yep, lift it up so you can open it up. There you go. 
It's all sort of dry pantry yep. stuff. No, that's fine. Uh, I had one packet where we had apples in like two days ago. Was that alright? Uh, this yeah, packet's no, that's all good. Fine. Yeah. Awesome. Sussy roll. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's poor squash Ted. So I'm in this Airbnb and I'm trying to make some toasted muffins and the smoke alarms went off, so I'm having to toast it on this funny little outdoor balcony area. <laughs> there was a hive of activity here today. So he's set up there with some cameras, a couple of cellos, and down here we have the electric cello. So I had a one-on-one -on -one lesson with uh, my cello teacher who lives in France and he was in Australia and he was the main reason that we traveled down to Adelaide. So yeah, it's been full on. My brain is absolutely fried because cello is hard. <laughs> and it was a big week leading up to that. So um, it's been fun though. Um, yeah, so there's there's the entire setup there. Um, that is my cello right there. And that came with me in the van. <sighs> Tomorrow we check out. Uh, we get to spend a second night here tonight, which is really nice. And... Um, then we just get to relax for the rest of the trip, which is good because I am incredibly tired. It's been a very long trip. It's been super tiring. Alexis had a chance to relax today, didn't you, darling? Do you want to be on camera? Yeah. Jonathan, my cello teacher, gave up his bedroom and he slept on the couch. So Alexis and I had a, had a bed to sleep in for a couple of nights, which was very nice of him to do because apparently we all snored. So he's here with one of his other students and that student's partner, 
and um, yeah, apparently there was a bit of a symphony of snoring. We were all snoring. Um, very tired. I apparently even Alexis was snoring. <laughs> I don't think I normally snore. But anyway, it's been good. Uh, I moved the fridge in here today, so it didn't just there drain the battery um, in the car. So the lithium battery, that is. So I'm going to get everything packed tonight. Uh, and then tomorrow night, we're going to have uh, two nights at a campground that's only $10 a night. It's super cheap. And that means um, the day in the middle, I'll be able to do some washing because a lot of our clothing still smells a lot like campfire. So yeah, I definitely need to do a load of washing. And they have a laundromat there. It's paid, but um, oh, I was going to make sure I had enough change. I guess I'll have to sort that out tomorrow. But anyway, I think I'm going to start getting all of our stuff back in the van ready to go and then the only thing we need to take in the morning is the fridge and pack that back in the car so i guess we'll see you at some point tomorrow okay good night <laughs>